What's up? I'm Nick Boy and welcome to Pocket. Today we're going to be reliving the 90s with Captain Forever Remix. It's in early access and it's the bomb, baby! Oh god, I think I just started a gang war. <laughs> Is the Wu-Tang Clan gone? All right, news time. Senior designer for Destiny, Josh Hamrick, has left Bungie to join Bethesda as senior systems designer. No word yet on what game he will be working on, but given it's Bethesda, I think we all know it's the fourth installment of beloved franchise, Wayne Gretzky Hockey. Power shot! Oh, what goal to no! Sven Vinke, founder of Larian Studios, who last year made Divinity Original Sin, has won a Flemish Cultural Prize for Cultural Entrepreneurship. Congratulations, Sven, and I feel your pain. Our fake Australian awards impress no one as well. All right, that's it for today's episode. Not! Ha <laughs> ha! Punked, you loser! All right, let's go space Farron. You know, if this is the 90s, I should probably warn someone about 9-11. <gasps> and Star Wars Episode One. Oh my God, they have no idea what's coming. Cowabunga. All right, Captain Forever, let's do it. Okay, Captain Forever Remix is a work in progress. All right, you'll see incomplete art, sound, music, and gameplay. So we're off to a good start. It's an incomplete game. But don't let that stop you from building the raddest ship ever. Thanks for joining us in Steam Early Access. Get your butt to Pluto. If this was really the 90s, we would have all laughed at Uranus. And Pluto isn't a planet anymore, so Captain Forever should maybe do a little less ship building, a little more homework. Captain Forever Remix. Oh my god, I love the graphics already. <laughs> oh, oh, it's so sweet. There's a cat. She's eating like weird sugary cereal. That heater is far too close to the carpet and to that milk. That milk's gonna go off. Already, there's so much story just in the game opening screen. So this is our command module. A necessary requirement for every ship. That's where I live. Uh, let's snap on these bits and, and let's go out and, and shoot some things. Thrusters, guns. I'm gonna put these guns nice and close together. Okay, stage one, the sun. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we're already, we're just, we're just jumping in the deep end. Kevin's crusaders will destroy you, Captain Forever. King Kevin is my stupid brother. He's so stupid. Referring to yourself in the third person. You've gone full villain. Yeah, Captain Forever, you tell him. Ah, uh, Kevin, you're such a butthead. Okay. Uh, so those little sonic pulses tell me that there's a ship nearby and that ship is powered by Kelly who wants those modules. Bad luck Kelly. It's time to die. Oh Kelly. God, you went so soon. All the characters are actually the friends, like the school friends of Captain Forever in weird alternate characters. So Kelly thinks she's a cat. A great dog. Bark, 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 bark. That is what a dog says. Is this actually my dog? Who knows? Okay, uh, a very cool feature about this game is that when bits of other people's ships sort of snap off after you've shot them, you then own those bits. Uh, possessions nine tenths of the Lauren space. Actually, it's ten tenths of the Lauren space because no one has said anything to me about the fact that I'm stealing all these bits. And you snap them onto your ship to make a more powerful ship. So now, look how well balanced this ship is. We have four. Oh no! Damn, it's not well balanced. There's one too many thrusters, so I'm going to start slowly spinning in a circle. No! But I've got a lot of guns, and I feel like guns, that's what I'm bringing to a battle. Hopefully they're bringing knives. Space knives. But in order to progress, I need to destroy a ship, a level two ship, I believe. Uh, this is a level one ship, but I can harvest him for parts. Uh, I'm gonna put, okay, I'm gonna replace, no, 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 no. Okay, on the side, get out of it, no! Don't blow my ship apart. That's exactly what I don't want you to do. Okay, spin. Spinning. Spinning. Okay, level two ship. This is what I need to destroy to move on. So if you could just kindly die. My modules, my precious, precious modules, says Chase. So I now jump to the next planet, which is Mercury. But before I do that, I need to add more stuff to my ship. So how should we do this? Let's add on a couple more bits for some more thrusters. Put on a yellow bit, cause yellow's better. Uh, jumping in 13 seconds. I'll add a thruster here. You know what, I'm just gonna add thrusters everywhere. What could possibly go wrong if I put force on every side of my ship? Let's find out. Oh, not too much actually. Oh no, 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 I was wrong. Just, just, I shot forward and then spun wildly out of control. King Kevin rules. 
Ah, uh, Kevin, such a butthead of a little brother. Uh, don't walk away, f boy. I'll be right there for you. Won't walk away, boy. Okay, Kelly's obviously having an aneurysm. Okay, you can just get out of here. I've got a lot. I've got a lot of thruster power, not a lot of firepower. Is that a mistake? We'll find out. Dog. Dog is barking. Come on. There we go. No, oh, he said exactly what I said. Ugh. Classic dog. Look, I, I love the art style here. The sort of, the parallaxing is awesome with the backgrounds. I love all, I love how the smoke looks out the back of your ship and stuff. You don't see enough games being really stylized. Everyone's trying to go for realistic these days. And the reason that we still love 80s and 90s games, the reason that Mario still looks exactly the same way as he did almost at the very beginning, is that when you stylize something, it, it stays relevant forever. But when you try to make something look realistic, uh, it, it sort of instantly dates itself. Spinning, spinning. All right, nailing it. Tell you what, I play a lot better when, I, when I'm not really focusing on the game, just talking to you fine folk. I like all the weird food references in this game. There's like half food and sandwiches just drawn in space. Ooh, that thrust is on incorrectly. I love how you can readjust on the fly. I think it's really cool. Like you, in the middle of a battle or something, if things aren't going right, you can just readjust. I feel like I've got a good ship here. Feeling confident. I'm feeling, dare I say it, fantastic. That's not my name. Forever. Captain Forever. Captain Fantastic's a much better name for this game, by the way. Devs, if you're listening, Captain Fantastic Redux. Okay. I was looking at the camera. I wasn't noticing that an enormous ship is shooting me from behind. It's blown out all my thrusters. I can't move. It. It's game over. It's game over. It's game over because I was talking to you. You. Maybe build a better ship next time, huh, Captain Forever? Maybe you should shut up, Captain Nobody. <sighs> Try again? Sure. Basic kit? No one wants basic kit. I feel like sniper kit, sniper kit served me well until I died sort of 30 seconds into my run. Uh, okay, building it. Building it exactly the same way I built it the last time because a good scientist never learns. You can't even tie your own shoelaces. Captain Forever, keeping it real. Humiliate your enemies, that's what I say. Ah, oh, looking good, I'm in good shape. Only one flashing bit. Flashing, of course, means you're sick. That's what happens to all of us when we fall ill. We just start pulsing. Ah, yeah! Oh no. Oh, where are my guns? Still got my gun. Ah, oh, Papa, can you hear me? Please don't die. So obviously the game has these sort of roguelike -y elements like Binding of Isaac, where you only get one run or don't starve. Those games tend to live or die on the amount of collectibles that you get and the sort of variation that can happen. And this game I'm really enjoying, but it definitely doesn't seem to have that element of all those collectibles and all the sort of mystery, the procedurally generated stuff. Obviously the procedurally generated stuff here is all the different ships. Uh, but is that enough content to keep you coming back after you've made the initial run, you know, through to Pluto? Which technically, again, shouldn't be in this list, guys. Uh, but I do only have to- Oh, Whoa! Oh! Like a bat out of hell! Jeez, he just rocked up on me. I like the fact that, <laughs> that someone, someone flies by so much faster than I am, with so many more weapons, and my first reaction is, let's chase him! Let's see what happens. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, no, here he comes. Okay. Prepare yourself. There he is. There he is. Roberto. Give me those modules. You all want my modules. Okay, get rid of him. I've only got one gun left. Now I have no thrusters. Guys, Earth. Earth is not on the cards for Nikki today. Maybe this fish has a three second memory and he just keeps forgetting I'm standing here shooting him in the face. <laughs> Seriously, I may actually beat this level 4 ship with just my inbuilt laser because he will not turn and shoot a gun at me. Yes! Yes! Stage complete! Unbelievable. Jumping to Earth. We made it. We made it to Earth. And I'm in the tiniest ship ever. Jump! Here we go. To Earth. Our home planet. And... <gasps> it's split in half?! And Australia is floating off into space. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is the end. This is the oh, so close. 
Get out of it. I'm just, I'm abandoning all bits. I'm just a tiny little rocket. Abort. Cowabungo? Cowabungo? I'm sorry, that distracted me so much I just died. It's not Cowabungo. It's Cowabunga. Elijah! Uh, well, that was Captain Forever Remix. Look, I really, really like this game. The style's awesome, the music's really cool. The gameplay's really satisfying, unpredictable, and fun. It's easy to pick up, and it is... I did have a blast while I was playing it. I do question whether or not I would want to go back and play the game again from the beginning. I feel like it would just be exactly the same experiences I've just had, which was a fun one. But the game is still in active development, so if they do end up adding more stuff, I'll certainly come back. But that's all the time we have for this episode of Pocket. Nick Boy out. All right, Elijah. Nikki feels like sushi.